looking for a special way to capture the memories of pregnancy and childbirth? Well, maybe consider this. It's called belly casting. If you don't know exactly what it is, Ashley Kirkland is uh, live this morning with a lady who does this piece of work. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. Well, belly casting is a unique style of body art. Now, carrying a child is a very amazing and special time in a woman's life. So why not capture that moment and get your belly casted? And I'm here with Belly Casting by Suzanne. She's a local woman uh, who helps women capture this moment. You can see some of her pieces here. She also does other body parts. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. But these are pieces of art that can be hung up well after your pregnancy is finished and you can can remember that special time in your life with your child and you can always cherish that moment. So we actually have a live person here that she's going to be belly casting. So you definitely do not want to miss this. It's going to be very fun and exciting. I'll take it back to you. What's yeah. going on here? How did you get started doing this? Well, um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, um, I had actually seen one on a wall in someone's house and I thought, well, I'd like to do that. And I couldn't find anybody who did them around here. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'll do my own. So when I was nine months pregnant, I did some reading and I did the first one on myself. Wow, a woman that takes charge and you've turned this into a business. You've done over a hundred uh, women's bellies. You know, how do you get the word out and how do people get interested in wanting to do this? Um, I do a lot of advertising mm -hmm. and um, I've actually done commercials before with TV6 in the past. And um, I pass out business cards, and they do them for baby showers. Yeah. It's a really nice gift. That is a nice gift. Now, we have a person here, Alyssa we Barker. Do. We do. She uh, <laughs> is 27 weeks pregnant. Alyssa, is this something that you just think will be treasured forever? Oh, yes. I definitely, I think I'll be putting this in the baby room, and the baby will be able to see, like, Mommy, like, that was me in there. Yeah. It'll be so adorable. It's so cute. I can eat explain to her or him kind of like how big I got and what the process was. Yeah, and you're at 27 weeks right now, so you're not at full capacity. What? <laughs> I know, that, that's a weird way to put it, okay. <laughs> Clearly you can see I haven't had children before. <laughs> at what stage do you recommend women do this, Suzanne? Um, usually about eight months, okay. around eight months. So a little later than what she is, but um, I, I have had women do them at three, six, and nine months yeah. also, so they can see the different changes. Yeah, and we also, have you want to step over here with me? We can see the different uh, forms that you have, and they all look yeah. like they were at different stages. Can you tell us who these people are? Actually, um, I grabbed my sisters, too. Um, this was my sisters, and this was my sisters with another child, and you can see the different shapes she had with the two different um, children. This was actually mine, the first one I did uh -huh. um, on myself. And um, actually, this is my niece. Um, we thought it'd be funny to do her little bum. She was two. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, and they're decorated. Do you do, is this painting or what, what's no, the decoration? No, I use fabric. Oops. I use fabric. Um, and what I usually do is ask the mother while I'm doing it um, what colors she would like or mm -hmm. if she just wants me to do it. I usually like um, to use this neutral color. So then once the baby is older and maybe this is taken out of the um, baby's room, it can go someplace else in the house and not be a big pink or blue right. object on a wall. So, but yeah, it can still be art. a form of art. Mm -hmm. Now, take us through what you're doing here with Alyssa, how this process works. Okay, well, I have regular casting material, and what I'm doing is just strip by strip, making it thicker and thicker and thicker on her um, until it hardens. And it hardens pretty quick, so you have to pretty much work pretty fast. As you can see, she's holding on to it because it's already started to mm. pop off of her. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it coming off. Yeah, so it'll come off of her really easy. So we won't take it off right now, but <laughs> then <laughs> once we take it off, um, it takes a few days to dry. Yeah. And, and then I trim it and I fix whatever needs to be fixed on it and then I decorate it. Wow. Well, we're going to come back and see the finishing touches on that. Alyssa is very brave <laughs> for being on TV yeah. and, and doing this is very uh, unique and fun. We'll be back with that, Vicki. I promised you great TV, and that's what you got this morning. I'll take it back to you. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV 6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ashley. You know, I can envision people, though, who would have, like we were saying. Morning, Sam. Well, Suzanne Wicklin is definitely helping women do that with her belly casting art. And I'm back here with Suzanne. Now, mm -hmm. Suzanne, you just finished Alyssa's belly casting. What did you do after you, you took it off of her uh, body? Okay, well, after I take it off, um, I end up putting finishing touches on it. I put more casting material where it might be um, thinner in places. 
And then I especially put more casting material where the holes are going to go, where it's going to be hung. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And she's holding it right now. Now, Alyssa, is this something that you thought of doing uh, when you first learned that you were pregnant? I was just thinking about it, but I, I wasn't sure. But now that I see this, I'm amazed. Yeah. This is such an amazing time in my life right now, and I'm just excited that I'll remember it forever. And I, I am going to hang this up in my baby room's room, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Now, Suzanne's going to, going to uh, put more finishing touches on it and do the artwork. What did you have? What are you going to have her do after this? Well, we discussed um, my baby's theme um, is Lion King, so we're... The colors are like green, yellow, brown. So we're going to put some green, yellow, brown fabric on this, and I think it'll turn out beautiful. Yeah, that's exciting. And Suzanne, this is not just about art, but it's also sentimental for a lot of women because mm -hmm. you do a lot of different things. Talk to us about that. Mm -hmm. um, I Well, there are women who have obviously have breast cancer and have to have mastectomies. And um, I've done women who have had mastectomies before their surgery, um, and then sometimes even after their surgery, mm -hmm. they just... You know, it means a lot to them. Yeah. Um, and in the past, um, yeah, it's just been yeah. for memories. Yeah, that is a great memory for a lot of women. Now, this is a great gift for a baby shower, as mm -hmm. you said before. How can someone gift this to someone? Um, in the past, um, usually someone from the baby shower, a friend, will call me and say they want to do this as a gift. So um, if they tell the person, I'll cast the person ahead of the baby shower, and then I'll end up bringing it to the baby shower decorated. And sometimes they'll use it as a centerpiece on the gift table. Wow. And it usually gets um, a lot of raves because it usually looks pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And you've even had people where they sign it to the baby and write different messages on yep. it. They'll, um, I had a girl who wanted it done in light colors, and then she brought it to the hospital um, for when she gave birth. And then everybody that was there signed um, things to the baby on the belly, and then she hung that in the baby's room. That's awesome. Now, you also, when you do this, you go to people's homes to yes. pr do the art. Yep, I'll go right to their house and um, do it and then clean up, and I'll be out of there. Yep. So it doesn't take very long. It usually only takes about 15, 20 minutes to cast and then to clean up, and, and then I usually call them within a week or two with the finished product. What an awesome service. Where can people find you on Facebook? Um, if you just put Belly Casting by Suzanne, it'll come up. And also I have a website, Belly Casting by Suzanne. Uh, yeah, otherwise 393-0020 um, is my number All if right. anybody wants to call. Great. Thank you so much. And mm -hmm. this was a fun experience for Alyssa. So glad you got to experience this and that we got to witness it live on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around for more of your TV6 morning news.